Okay, guys, for the leather makers, video on painting, how I prevent clogs from getting into the needles. Essentially, I'll tell you, I don't generally have problems with clogs. So, but I'll tell you what I do do, and maybe that helps you. Okay, one, I use quality bottles. Liberty Oil products available on Amazon has a lure lock tip. Two, quality, clean, fresh paint into the bottle. Keep everything sealed up nice and tight when not in use, right? Uh, I use uh, these dispensing needles, <clears throat> Sanits, okay, uh, or Beestein, any brand, okay, as long as they're a lure locking type tip. I use 20, 22 gauge, 23 gauge most often. Again, important to have a lure lock tip that makes a nice tight connection. Like that one's pretty good. Every once in a while I'll get a, a cap that doesn't really seal that lure lock very tight. I'll be cautious of that, okay? But um, I will use that stuff uh, anytime I am painting and I have to stop for more than a, you know five minutes or so. I will you know take the tip off and go clean it immediately. You know, recap. These caps are sold separately a, a lot of times, um, right? Recap it. Keep everything clean. Everything nice. Uh, try not to let any buildup really get around your cap, anything that's going to create chunks that might get into your needles, okay? And after a while, um, sometimes the paint will start to thicken inside the bottle. You'll know that when you go to paint and the paint starts to dry not real evenly, okay? You can tell it's going on thicker and heavy. That's probably time to, okay, this paint's been in the bottle too long. It's kind of dried out. Maybe the cap wasn't on that tight. Time to do a complete good rinse out, get the bottle absolutely clean, the cap absolutely clean, and then uh, start with fresh paint once again. Okay, so just keep everything clean. As far as paint application goes, uh, you know, I just, I go real slow and careful, nice even pressure on the bottle. The most common problem that I have, that I've not figured out how to avoid 100%, is that occasionally you'll get that little paint, air bubble, liquidy spurt, uh, only on occasion. The way I think that I'm starting to reduce that is by when I am painting, I make sure I have just a nice, even, soft pressure on the bottle, only as much pressure as is necessary to get that paint to come out. Um, and uh, try not to kind of, you know, have a flexing, I don't squeeze and release it and squeeze and release it. Instead, you know, I just have a nice even pressure squeeze as I deliver paint to the product. And uh, if I think I'm having an issue, I'll pull the bottle away from, uh, from the work and I will, you know, paint lines nice and smooth and even on to the, uh, onto a paper towel or something so that I can see that, uh, okay, I am delivering paint nice and smooth and, and uh, I, if I think I'm about to have an air bubble, <laughs> right, because I can tell the paint's starting to do something a little funny, then uh, that's time to pull away and uh, you'll run some paint through the needle on something that doesn't matter. But uh, that's essentially it. And uh, good luck out there. Keep everything clean. Keep all your paint fresh. And use quality bottles. No slip tips. Okay? All right. All right. Follow-up video to the prior painting video. Just a few other tidbits on actual paint application. Okay. Again, using good quality paints, that's Angelus or Alpha 6 paints, uh, Alpha Flex paint, okay? Uh, use good quality fresh paint, and again, I'm squeezing nice and smooth, just enough pressure to get the paint to come out of the bottle onto the product, and I'm really watching to see that paint behavior. How is it doing, okay? Uh, if I do have a stoppage, like I think there's a block, I'm squeezing, and I've been using that same pressure, and suddenly paint's not coming, and I have to squeeze a little harder, and paint doesn't start to come. All right, time to pull the tip away from the product, go back to that uh, paper towel or whatever and squeeze a little bit harder. But also check at that point, you know, uh, you know, do I have paint starting to ooze out from the, anytime you're squeezing more pressure into the bottle and paint's not coming out, that pressure's going somewhere. Uh, so it may be starting to, maybe you have a lure lock cap that's coming loose. Maybe you have paint starting to uh, come around uh, from the cap body itself. Don't, doesn't generally happen. Usually if I have a, a little bit of a blockage, I can kind of squeeze additional pressure. And when I come over to my paper towel, I'll let off and then kind of start that, like, you know, start to actually, you know, squeeze and release, squeeze and release, 
see uh, see what's going on there. Most times I'll get flow back and then able to continue with no problem. Metallics. Metallic paints have particulates in the paint that does cause more clogging. That's probably the most common time when I get a clog is if I'm using metallics. Okay, so uh, with metallics, I'll do my best to use the larger needles, the 20 gauge or 22 gauge, as opposed to the 23 gauge. I have painted metallics with the 23 gauges um, and had no problems, but if, you're, if I'm gonna have a clog, it's usually because I'm using metallics um, or I've made the mistake of letting paint get old, either in the bottle, and then I just poured that older stuff into my painting bottle. Um, so, uh, but uh, pull away, check everything, um, and then if there's any question, like, man, yeah, I, I have a blockage, then at that point, uh, it's time to just, you know, take that cap and either uh, you can go see if you can clean it. If it's a really solid blockage, I'll just, I'll just throw it away. I'll just throw that cap away. New cap. Okay. Um, one of the things I don't know that I mentioned in the other video is most times I prefer to use the Angelus one ounce bottles with that paint going into this one ounce Liberty Oil products bottle. So that, that way it's fresh, it's brand new. I open it and put that brand new paint into a, a fresh, clean bottle. And uh, then, uh, you know, I'll hang, out, I'll hang on to the empty bottle just so I remember the exact, like, okay, that is that blue. Sometimes, there, you know, you have sapphires and all these different blues. So you got to keep the color straight in your head. But, uh, you know, when I start getting low, I know, okay, yep, that was from the blue bottle, the blue, blue. I'll go in, you know, time to order, you know, more fresh paint. Um, so, you know, I think that's, yeah, as far as blockages go, Again, I just don't get many of them. Uh, that's a few extra tidbits uh, that I just wanted to share. So uh, hopefully that helps. Okay, one final thing. Uh, something I don't often remember to do that a lot of YouTubers are very good at is get to the end of the video and say, please, if you found this, use <laughs> if you found this video useful, then please uh, hit like, Hit subscribe. I don't have a ton of videos up right now, but the more people that uh, like and subscribe, the more I'll, uh, I think I'll put more and more videos that are kind of instructional leather type videos, as well as videos on leather products. And some of the things I do, we'll put, post more stuff to the YouTube channel. Right now, most of my posting is geared towards Instagram, but uh, I'd like to uh, be working on both. But uh, please hit like and subscribe. Go to my Instagram, hit follow there, and uh, that just encourages me more and more to make more of these videos and to share uh, what I've learned so far as a uh, leather worker. All right, thanks.